What's up everyone? Uh, so welcome back. Once again, we are going to explore the world of the Princess Portal. This time it's going to be from a blog post coming from 2006. Sky had a collection of posts that she called Princess Challenges. It was aimed to be sort of like a monthly prompt, but unfortunately she only ended up doing a couple of them. But I wanted to share uh, some of them anyways because it just so happens to be the month of April, which is the first month that she introduced them. So I wanted to do this earlier. Unfortunately, I've been really busy with work, but technically it's still April, so I wanted to get this out before April was a complete bust and I'd have to wait till next year to <laughs> go over this one. Per usual, I'll leave the link to the archive post below. However, this is a brief overview of her post. Make up a fairy tale or short story with yourself as the main character. It can be based on your real life experiences or completely fictional. You can write it in prose, verses, or even draw scenes from the story. There is no length requirement, but you should have an ending, happy or otherwise, by the last day of the month. So part of the reason it took me so long to do this video is because I had a really hard time um, coming up with something and then uh, my story ended up being a little more personal than I would like to be. Uh, and it's a little embarrassing so if you choose to opt out of the rest of this video that is completely fine. I completely understand and I don't blame you but for everyone else who is interested, uh, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little princess. By all accounts, she dressed like a princess, ate like a princess, and acted like a princess. <laughs> but she wasn't really princess-like. Oftentimes, one would find the princess covered in burrs, dressed caked in mud or dust, jumping off of cliffs and climbing trees. The little princess was called a heathen by some people in the castle, but she didn't care. Fighting, swimming in mud puddles, and falling asleep in the forest were much too fun to give up. There were ways the little princess did prove that she knew how to be a princess. She loved to have her tea time. She always showed her best manners to any guests at the castle. She cooked, sang, played piano, even learned to sew. She rode and jumped horses. Never mind the fact that half the time she didn't use a saddle. The point is that she was capable, and she did it. The funny thing about growing up, the little princess noticed, is that the older you get, the harder it is to please people. The little princess was now a young princess. Her tastes become more refined. Her skills sharpen. She stopped playing in the forest and swimming through the mud. Her dresses were always pressed and clean, but it just wasn't good enough. The young princess knew in her heart that she must keep true to herself to find her happiness. So the young princess went on a journey. It was long and hard, but rarely lonely. The princess met many other princesses along the way. Of course, not everyone along her travels were kindred spirits, but they didn't bother her because those who had a negative opinion to share were from those whose opinions were not worth hearing to begin with. Despite the nice airs, the princess had no problem finding her prince, someone who loved her for her, mud caked or not, to build their own castle and kingdom together. But most importantly, the princess grew to love herself. She learned to strive for improvement, not for the approval of others, but for her own satisfaction. And as the wise princess sat on her throne, lace and frills cascading over the edge of her seat, she wondered how proud the little princess would have been to see who she had become. Well, that's about it. Um, so if anybody's done this challenge before in uh, the way back, uh, or if you choose to do it now, please let me know. I would love to hear everyone's stories. Again, sorry that I'm getting this to you so late, but I'd love to hear what you come up with. As always, I hope you enjoyed your trip on this nostalgia train, and I'll catch you next time.